Hello and welcome back. In this video we're going to start building our registration form, our register form. So we already have this link set up here and if I click that link um, you'll see that this method does not exist in our controller. So the first thing we're going to do is fix that. Uh, let me fix my screen, sorry about that. Okay, so here's our register controller. I have that open right now and um, let's go ahead and add our register. So it's going to be an uh, action, so it's public function, register, action, okay? And then what we're going to do is we need to add a view for that as well. So let's go to our app, views, and in our register full, uh, directory here, add a new file. And we're just going to call that uh, register.php. And let's just do um, this start head this end, and we can. Duplicate that and we'll say body. And oops. for now, I'm just going to put register right there. And let's go back now and test this. Okay, something's not set up yet. Yep, so this view render. Register, register. All right, there we go. Okay, so looking good so far. <laughs> um, no, but for real, we got to get going on this form. So what I'm going to do here? Um, let's just do a div. And give it a class of call medium six and call mid medium offset three and we'll give it a well as well class of well all right and then what i want to do is we're going to start a form here so we'll do a form let's go ahead and give that a class of form i guess like that him it doesn't like that very well so I'll just do form and the action um, we're just gonna leave that blank so it posts back to yourself to itself and then we'll put we'll make a div here for our um, display er errors so BG danger um, and actually we'll just keep that on the same line and we're going to do a PHP echo this display errors. Okay. Um, and then what we'll do is we'll start on our form. So we'll do a div form group and label. And first one's just going to be uh, F name. First name, Oops. and then this will be a text field. F name. Uh, we have to give it an ID of F name as well. Um, for value, we'll do this post F name. Okay. And then we're just gonna duplicate this down. Do the last name here. And that'll just be L name. Done L name. 
All right, let's duplicate it down again. This time, I'm going to ask them for their email. Um, and we'll make the type email as well. Duplicate that down again. Uh, this one will be say choose a username so username and I want to point out that I am label I'm calling the using the names the exact same name that's in the uh, database and that's important uh, that'll save us some steps when we're inputting this so make sure you're doing that um, and then I'm going to say this one will be choose a password and change all of this and even oops damn, all of this be password all right moving right along oh do you know what though I forgot a class on these um, that's um that's okay I'll just fix it in a little bit we'll just keep going um, and then here we're just going to change this to confirm password. And for that one, um, we'll keep the type as password. The rest of this is going to be confirm. All right. Um, let's see. Let's see the, um, the last one that we need. We'll make a div of pull. Right that wrong you do div a pull right and then we'll do an input and we'll make that uh, a submit uh, don't really need a name we will give it a class we'll give it a class of button button primary these are all bootstrap classes and then I guess button large and for the value, we'll say register. So let's take a look at that and see if that looks decent. Um, yeah, so I forgot those classes. We'll fix that styling. Um, we'll fix all this too, these notices and even this notice here. But that's uh, working so far. Um, up here, I think what I want to do is put an H3. And we'll give that a class of text center and and we'll just give it a class text center and register here so let's try that woohoo uh, I think I'll throw in horizontal rule there woohoo okay so let's go ahead and add our classes to make the styling look good on this. So in all of our inputs, uh, let's do it after the name. And we'll say class equals form control. All right, take a look at that now. All right, first name, last name, email, choose a username, choose a password, confirm password, register. Perfect. All right then. Um, let's take care of the errors that we're getting now. So let's go back to our register action and what we're going to do is just um, first of all let's say validation equals uh, new validate okay that's going to take care of our validation and then um, we'll also do how about this we'll do posted values equal um, and we'll say f name Um, name. 
this will fix our um, undefined variables. setting up our uh, posted values and then let's see let's set up um, say this view post is going to be equal to posted values So now we don't have we got rid of those with this um, uh, array here, and then we pass that to the view. And then let's see what else do we want to do? Displayers. Let's go ahead and get rid of that too. This um, view display errors equal. Validation display errors. So let's see if that works. I should take care of this notice here. Yep. Okay. So we're moving right along. What I wanted to be able to do is um, let's set up all of our actual. Um, validation now. So we're going to add, after this posted values right here, um, when we declare that array, we're going to add an if statement. We're going to say if dollar underscore post, because the rest, all this stuff in here, we only want to do if there are posted values um, to this action. So the first thing I'm going to do is set up our, uh, this, set this up, and we'll say posted values is equal to and posted underscore values and we'll pass in post all right so we don't actually have this set up yet so what we're going to do is in our um let's see if we can close a lot of this yeah, so inside of our lib helpers helpers function, let's go ahead and create that. Um, that will be, we called that uh, posted values. Post. So it gets uh, passed into that. So it was. Let's instantiate uh, a clean array beginning here. And then we're going to say for each post as key value pair. Um, and then what we're going to do is we're going to say clean array. And the key will be the key from the post. But this will equal our, we'll sanitize this. So sanitize. Um, and then what we're going to sanitize is post. Well, actually we'll just do value. All right. And once that's done, we'll actually return the clean array. Okay. So that's, that's that. Um, back in our register PHP here, so that'll take care of this. So now what's gonna happen is these values will remain. So let's just test that out. I'm just gonna post that. So now it's posted and that, that's still there. Let's just uh, test them all out and make sure I, did, I don't have any uh, uh, weird kind of errors here.
All right, so all the values look, look to be posted back to the form. Uh, so that's good. Um, so let's let's now go and hmm. So if you have that posted, then what we're going to want to do is validate those fields. 